Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Bradley number 6A00-11. This is a surface-mounted soap dispenser. This is a censored soap dispenser, and, um, you know, it's just automatic operation, and that's it. This is an incredibly self-sufficient type of unit. You don't really have to do anything other than give it soap, and when the unit tells you um, to replace the batteries, replace the batteries. Very simple and straightforward. I have sold these, and actually what I sell more of are just the replacement keys for these. I have not heard any issue of this unit not functioning flawlessly. I've not uh, become aware of all, no one's ever called me and said this thing's just stopped working. Um, and, you know, sometimes that is simply operator error sort of installation problems that it operates strangely, ghosting, things of that nature. But this is this unit has uh, proven by the fact that I've not heard anything about it, has proven to be something that I um, am led to believe works very, very flawlessly. So this is their uh, automatic soap dispenser. I'm going to read some outline you know, specifications of the unit. Heavy gauge stainless steel with exposed surfaces and an architectural satin finish. So it's going to be a brushed stainless steel finish. Obviously a view port here to see the, your soap level. Front has matching curvature to other Bradley Diplomat washroom accessories. So if you're looking to stick in one man, in this manufacturer's aesthetic, select from other Diplomat items. They'll market them as Diplomat. This is going to have a curved shape to it, which is reminiscent of the Diplomat series. The wall plate is uh, ABS plastic. The reservoir inside, which we'll look at in a moment, is a 27 ounce capacity. Um, that's closer to the large size. You know, smaller sizes are about, you know, 16 ounce. Larger sizes are about 32 ounce. So this is closer to the larger size. This will require C batteries, which are not included. Indicator lights green in use. Uh, red flashing is low battery. Operation, place hands under soap spout and uh, hold to dispense liquid. Two to three inches the sensing range. Sight gauge indicates refill time. Refill by unlocking lock with special key, which is supplied. Let's take a look at that key. This would be reminiscent. This is a uh, tubular key, uh, sometimes known as an ace key or a Chicago key. It's got a little nib. It's got some cuts in the side, which are depth cuts, actually. Not to get too far in the woods on what an ace key is, but you'll see them in vending machines. That's a shallow cut. That's a deeper cut. There would be pins set up around the post inside of here, and the uh, depth at which those pins are depressed. That nib, of course, uh, forcing the proper orientation of the key inside the lock will then permit the lock to, to function. Uh, additional keys are available as well. This client did buy five additional keys. Probably have, you know, certainly multiple people that need to access this rather than say, hey, can I have the key? You know, there's five managers, you know, overall throughout the period of the week or staff who need to access it. There's a link below this video to the keys. And on the key page itself, you can link to this product. Uh, swinging open the dispenser body, uh, once you unlock the unit, swinging it down, you will be able to then uh, access the refill procedure. We're going to take a look at that in a moment here. Regarding the installation, they say to verify all rough-in dimensions prior to installation. Um, you know, take a look at the installation instructions in terms of the template, which is linked to down below this video, that will allow you to understand where the item has to go. I would recommend that you confirm that you can install it in the proper location prior to ordering it, just to make sure that you don't get it and then realize, oh, I can't even install this. Um, and that's really a reference to the height dimension required, or at least as a minimum dimension, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, there are screws available. There is also uh, self-adhesive um, available if you're going to install this down like onto a piece of glass like a mirror obviously. 
The guide specification is listed too down below. You can use that to incorporate that into your construction documents or to convey to someone else, like a um, you know uh, someone who would uh, need to um, review specification documents to supply the material. A distributor. Uh, that specification is there to uh, make clear what intent it is of the specifier in terms of what they're expecting in terms of the soap dispenser. So that, that language can just be lifted from there and included in construction documents. So there is a link below this video to the installation instructions and the template. And let's take a look at the template first. They, both of those documents are included. Okay. And, you know, obviously you've got, you have four holes there. They've got those two keyhole slots up at the top. Okay, the keyhole slots are what are going to allow you to get the unit pushed onto the wall, dropped down, and then final securing through those two fixed holes. And they do get you started with four plastic anchors and four screws. Okay, um, they do get you uh, started with the pressure sensitive adhesive. I would not use this unless I had no choice. I would want to physically secure the unit down to the wall, uh, but that tape will allow you to get on the back of the ABS unit and to your mirror front. Now, the link to the installation instructions, let's take a look at that and jump right down to step three, and that's where we're going to be able to see how you end up marking the material. You're going to want to mark your holes for the installation but you're going to need to be mindful to mark them in the proper location. So tape the installation template down to the wall at the appropriate location on the mounting surface. The four plus signs, that's where you're going to pre-drill your holes. Did I get that right? Okay. Right where the plus sign is. Drill four holes at marked locations 5 16 diameter. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's they're biasing the location of the holes, um, and we'll discuss that in a moment. Drill four holes at the marked locations, five sixteenths diameter. Insert four plastic anchors supplied into those holes. Remove the template. Insert two screws supplied into the top plastic anchors and leave them stand proud off the face an eighth of an inch from the underside of the head to the face of the wall for hanging of the dispenser. So then. You've got the two screws are sticking out a little bit. That's by design. Push it in through these holes, drop it down. Okay. Then you'll be aligned for these two screws to enter their plastic anchors. Hang the dispenser through the key slots on the back plate top. Use the uh, use the key lock. Use the key to unlock and pull forward the housing cover. All right. They've jumped a little bit. Key slots, let it set down, finish the final two screws, tighten all your screws, make sure all your screws are tight. Now use the key lock to unlock and pull forward the housing cover. And that would be the time where the key comes in. That little slot that's there that you can see at the three o'clock position, that's where the nib of the key will go in. You'll rotate it clockwise 90 degree and then that, at that point, the cam Okay, no longer is keeping the unit captive from this slot that's here. You'll be able to pull that all down. Your remove the soap dispenser, soap reservoir, and lock dispenser to wall with the remaining two screws. So you need to remove the soap dispenser, the soap reservoir, to get to the final two screws is what they're driving at there. Okay. Um, now installation down onto a mirror. Uh, step 3.2: Clean the mounting surface. Uh, with isopropyl al alcohol, mark outline of dispenser on mirror with masking tape. Uh, remove paper liners from the self-adhesive pads on dispenser backplate. Place unit on mounting surface with even steady pressure and hold for one minute. Let tape cure for 10 hours prior to filling dispenser with soap for use. So you're going to want to get that securely applied to the unit. I've not heard the tape ever failing. I just would prefer a mechanical installation. Okay. Now, let's put the template aside and let's get to the installation instructions. Uh, step one is going to give you the overview of the unit. It, 
It is, of course, important to observe the requirements of the viscosity for the soap that this unit can operate, which is listed there. Okay. Um, battery life is listed there. Those specifications you can review. We're going to go right to page two, the operating instructions. Open housing with included security key previously retained. Open cover on battery compartment. Remove battery box and unplug cable. So this is the battery box, this little tang right here. It will allow that to pop out. And they did tell us three C batteries, and that would be accurate. Obviously maintain or observe your polarity. Now they're saying to unplug the cable. I'm not familiar with a cable on this unit at all. I'm going to go with that reference to unplug cable must be for a unit that incorporates a cable with a battery box. This has contacts down here below which are going to mate to the contacts in the back, the spring contacts right there and, and up there. Okay, So there's probably no cable to unplug. There is no cable to unplug. Uh, is there an indicator of polarity? There is. Uh, you can see the positive and negative. The negative is going to go to the spring side and your batteries will be marked positive and negative. Those batteries need to um, work in series, and that's why there's polarity there. So that you can obtain 4.5 volts DC. Each C battery is 1.5 volts. Reinstall battery box and close the compartment cover. So at that, once you've got the batteries, Okay. Snaps right back in place. Obtain a disposable soap cartridge, 950 milliliter, or remove, clean out, and refill the included reusable soap reservoir with the correct viscosity liquid soap. Ensure that the soap container cover is closed and air vent hole is open. The air vent hole is in the cap itself. What they're saying there with the air hole, uh, vent hole open and nozzle is not clogged and that soap container is clean and not leaking and install, uh, and install either your pre-purchased disposable bag or this filled reservoir um, into the dispenser. Make sure the nozzle flange is below the housing cradle rib to stretch the valve tube. So that basically just means you've got to make sure that this is positioned down here. Okay, The business end of this unit is in here is what is going to make this soap move. Um, a lot of language there about it being clean. Um, maintenance is how you can keep a soap dispenser literally working for a very, very long time. You must clean out this thoroughly with warm water after every single um, soap refill. Every time. Refill it. Uh, before you refill it, thoroughly clean it. Make sure it's thoroughly clean. Make sure that vent hole, you know, air has to escape to allow that soap to come out and down. Be sure that that's clean. It's just not going to work right. This nozzle will clog. I can't tell you how often we sell replacement nozzles for manual soap dispensers because they're not maintained. The soap just keeps getting poured in. It coagulates. It hardens uh, and, it, and it clogs is, is the bottom line. So if you keep that clean, I think you can expect that you're going to need, you know, um, that your only problem will be, you know, having to have batteries on hand um, for your soap dispenser after uh, battery estimated lives, 100,000 cycles or one year. Um, if it's going to be in a restaurant application, sure, you're going to have hopefully hundreds of uses a day. Um, but even at that point, you're going to have a tremendous amount of life duty uh, out of just a single set of batteries. So make sure that it's cleaned out the reservoir before you refill warm water. Then make sure to latch the cradle gate. Make sure to latch the cradle gate. So I think what they're going to say here is um, 
The only cradle gate that's here really is the soap dispenser. There's really not much moving on here. They don't tell us where to remove the little nozzle tip, but that's certainly going to have to come off. Now, once you've got this all set back in, it's everything is in place. Uh, observe, be down here, that the LED is lit blue and then lashes four times, indicating proper operation standby condition uh, and battery charge level. So, lit blue and then lashes four flashes four times will be proper standby operation. It says push up the sa the cover safety interlock switch, blue stem on bottom to click and hold it. Um, I think what they're telling you is they want you to run a battery check at that po moment. Um, look at step six, battery low indication. With housing cover open and soap reservoir removed, perform the following diagnostic check. Press and push up the safety, safety cover interlock. A little, a little switch right there. You can hear it click and hold it. Observe that the LED is, is lit blue and then lashes, flashes <laughs> four times indicating proper standby condition and, char and battery charge level. Okay, so in order to get the proper standby check, you have to push up the safety interlock, the cover interlock button, and hold it. Then it'll go through its diagnostic, make sure the batteries are good, that it's ready to go into standby mode. Um, if the LED continues to flash blue, it's an indication um, that it's time to replace the batteries. Okay, so if you get continual blue flash flashing, replace the batteries. You will see that through the access hole down here as well. So then close the housing cover and lock it with the included key previously supplied. Locked position. This will not come out now. Important notice, ensure no bright source is aimed or reflected at the sensor from below. Use fresh new liquid soap only and clean the soap container properly. Deposits of old soap will lead to malfunctioning and jamming. Absolutely. Do not dilute the soap unless you're supposed to dilute the soap. Um, and do not use soap containing abrasive. Observe indicated viscosity factor of soap, of liquid soap. Do not immerse the entire unit in water. You will create a short circuit in the electronics that are inside there. Now, there a step that we bounced right over, step two. It's important to maintain or it's important to establish that you can install the unit at the minimum dimension from the countertop. Um, if you get too close to the countertop, seven and seven eighths for a normal countertop, or 11 and 13 16 for a stainless steel countertop, light will reflect and hit the sensor or ghosting will occur. So if you observe that you have a condition where the you have soap deposits there, um, you know, it's unlikely someone triggered the sensor and then pulled their hand away. Um, you, you will have a ghosting condition where there is a problem with the installation. Uh, location. So um, you'll make sure the positioning of it is going to be compatible as required. That's listed on page one. So then the bottom of page two uh, lists the parts. They don't give part numbers, unfortunately, uh, for this material, but we'll see if we can establish that information. And um, if these parts are available as separate standalone components, um, we will uh, endeavor to add those to the site so that you can purchase only those parts. Something tells me that they likely are not available as standalone components, or at least not all of them. They do not specifically mention to remove the part number 11, the nozzle cap. That's, that's a sealed cap. That will certainly have to come off. Okay, then your sensor right here. So finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Bradley products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Bradley, this is their part number 6A00-11, their Diplomat Surface Mounted Soap Dispenser, a censored unit, or any other Bradley product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.